after being introduced to the mathematics kit prepared by NCERT for the secondary classes. Now, let us see how we can make use of the items provided in the kit for verifying the algebraic identities. Look here, we have set of four cutouts. Let this square cutout be of length A units and let this be a rectangular cutout with width B units and length A units. Same way, let this cutout be of breadth B units. So, the area of this square cutout is going to be A square units and the area of this square cutout is going to be B square units and the area of these two rectangular cutouts is going to be 2 A B. Now, if we just join them, look here, what do we get? We obtain a square. What is the length of the square here? Obviously, it is going to be A plus B. So, we have a square here of length A plus B. The area is A plus B whole square. So, we have a square of dimension A plus B here. So, obviously, the area of this square will be A plus B whole square. Let us see how we can find out the individual areas and sum up. We have the area of this square as A square and the area of smaller square as B square and what is the area of this rectangle? It is obviously A B and the area of this rectangular cutout is again A B. Now, when we add them, we have A square plus B square plus 2 A B. This is the total area of the square. We had the square of dimension A plus B. So, we have a algebraic identity verified as A plus B whole square is equal to A square plus B square plus 2 A B. Let us verify another algebraic identity with the help of cutouts provided in the kit. The other identity let us take up as A square minus B square is equal to A minus B into A plus B. Look, how will we do it? Let us take a cutout of side length A units and we have another cutout of side length B units. Let us place it on this. Now, we have a portion which is uncovered and we are also provided with two more cutouts which are trapezium in shape. Let us place these trapeziums in this uncovered area in this manner. Yes, they cover them exactly. Now, this length here is obviously A minus B and the cutout here of length B units is removed. So, we have A minus B here. Now, we should calculate the area of this left out portion. For that, let us arrange these two cutouts in such a manner that we are able to calculate its area. How will we do that? Let us pick up these cutouts and arrange them in such a manner that we get a rectangle. What is the area of a rectangle? It is length into breadth. Now, we had this length to be A minus B and the length of this is A plus B. So, obviously, the area of this rectangle becomes A plus B into A minus B and hence we have verified the identity A square minus B square is equal to A minus B into A plus B. 
Likewise, we can verify other identities also with the help of cutouts provided in the kit.